Hey, what's good, everybody? I'd like to welcome you all back to the Boombox Guru channel. I'm your host, LB. So I got a brand new CD update for you all today to view. And uh, this one is going to be focusing on heavy metal, but I'm only going to be focusing on two particular bands because with the CDs that I'm going to be showcasing today, they're only from those two bands. So without further ado, let's get into this CD update. So the first band that I'm going to talk about is, this is a Swiss thrash metal band known as Corner. And I recently purchased uh, two of their albums from Brutal Planet Records. They recently did some reissues of their second and third album. Actually, actually their first three albums to be exact. But I already own the first album. And I just needed these two records. So I bought these. But I'm talking about uh, Swiss thrash metal legends known as Corner. And the two particular albums I purchased were Punishment and Decadence. Punishment for Decadence, actually. Punishment for Decadence, released in 1988. And No More Color, released in 1989. And yes, both of these came from Brutal Planet Records. These are gold disc editions. So these were reissued with a remaster sound. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this, these quick little kind of tit. Quick little thing that these uh, gold editions come with. Uh, both of these discs... And all gold disc editions, they come with these cool like collector's cards of the bands right here. So this one's from Punishment for Decadence. This one's from No More Color. So you get these cool collector cards when you purchase these gold disc editions, man. I thought that was really cool. So for those of you who may not be that familiar with Corner, like I said, they are a Swiss thrash metal band. Uh, I would say that they were one of the first like thrash metal bands that really started to bring in more of that technical progressive style to that uh, genre uh, they are a power trio only three members but uh their first album r.i.p while they did kind of showcase some slight leanings into that more progressive thrash metal nature it was actually these two records right here that really where they really cemented that sound where they solidified their, that, that sound you know uh punishment for decadence uh while it still right retains some of that more pure more aggressive, speedy thrash metal of the first record, R.I.P. You can definitely hear a lot more of the technical and progressive styles coming in. A lot more different kinds of time signatures and stuff coming forth. And No More Color, that pretty much just expands upon what Punishment for Decadence did. So they both start to bring in like longer tracks, you know, different, all kinds of really complex time signatures, more complex songs. A lot more technical proficiency in the musicianship and so forth. And these two records, they both, in my opinion, they both just ended up culminating into what, in my opinion, is Corner's best album, which is called Mental Vortex, which I also own in my collection. Uh, that record came out in 1991. And you could say that they even went further and took more of an avant-garde approach to thrash metal, man. But uh, some really good music. On these two records, man, uh, the sound on here is great. I really like those uh, collector's cards that came with the reissues and so forth. But I'm um, really glad to have this because uh, I only owned two Corner al albums prior to this, and that was R.I.P. and Mr. Vortex. And um, I was having a hard time really finding these two records. And then I, went, I looked on Brutal Planet Records for some reason. I don't know how I ended up on that website, but I seen where they had these editions. So I went ahead and purchased them just to add to that collection man i was kind of hoping they would have had their uh their next two albums uh grin and the uh, self-titled one but they don't have those available at least in these editions but i'm i'm just really glad to have these and own these you know just to add more and build up more of my corner corner collection but an awesome thrash metal band that i think everybody should know about everybody should go and check out their music real great band uh, because of their progressive style of thrash metal, they've been called and nicknamed the Rush of Thrash Metal. And it also helps that they're a power trio as well. And their band is still active. Uh, they're still doing shows. Got a slightly different lineup. Uh, they don't have the original drummer. Uh, he left the band. I think he was actually in the band for a while. I think he did come back when they reformed, but then he decided to just quit the band again. So they have replaced him with another drummer. But they're still active. They haven't put out any new music that I know of. But they do still tour and do shows. They still perform at a lot of the big metal festivals and so forth. As, as a matter of fact, I think a close friend of mine's, uh, I think this might have been a year or two ago, I think they was performing at the Maryland, I think they performed at the Maryland Death Fest 
or something. Might have been a year ago. I'm not sure if he was telling me that, that that's what he told me. But they're still an active band. But uh, definitely check them out if you haven't gotten a chance, man. I think anybody that's a fan of Thrash uh, would enjoy this band because they do have some really great records and make some really good music, some great musicians as well. All right, so moving on. Uh, these next these next three CDs are actually from the same band, but I'm just going to talk about uh, two of them right now because they're kind of in line with uh, Corner a little bit. So uh, I decided to complete my Nevermore uh, collection. I, I was only lacking two albums in order to complete uh, the all the seven studio albums that they released. So I found these also on BrutalPlanetRecords.com uh, and I purchased Enemies of Reality and The Obsidian Conspiracy. So these were the last two albums that I needed in order to complete uh, my Nevermore CD collection. I'll try to move this mic closer so you guys can hear me more. But yeah, uh, The Obsidian Conspiracy was actually the final album from Nevermore uh, after they ended up disbanding. And of course, you know, uh, World Dane, uh, RIP to him, he passed away back in uh, December of 2017. He had a heart attack, I think, in uh, Brazil when he was recording his uh, second uh, studio album. And uh, so, yeah, RIP to him, man. He one of the greatest vocalists in music, but a great vocalist in metal, man. Nevermore, one of the best, greatest heavy metal bands to emerge from the 90s. You know, they just had a really great combination of uh, prog metal, uh, U.S. power metal, thrash metal, uh, even gr like groove metal. They started adding a little groove metal in some of their later works, uh, some gothic elements. Uh, even there's even one album I, I would say this Godless Endeavor that one had some slight like death metal leanings, and these two records, man, they kind of they kind of went for a more stripped down sound. Uh, still, well, not not totally stripped down. It still got some prog metal elements, but they kind of just scaled back a little bit, and they kind of brought in some more like kind of like catchiness, some kind of almost kind of like mainstream hard rock leanings and some aspects of the music on these records man but i'm gonna show you guys you know like like i said all the gold disc editions come with these cool collectors cars right here so uh, uh this is the one from enemies of a reality and this is the one from the obsidian uh conspiracy right here yeah just just really cool man like i i own like the original pressings of like their other albums but man I'm almost tempted to buy the gold disc editions just to get these cool collector's cards, man, because it's just a really neat thing to have. It's just a really cool gift to have when you purchase these gold disc editions, man. Really like it. And they do have Nevermore's, Brutal Planet Records does have Nevermore's entire discography available on gold disc edition, man. But uh, like I said, remastered sound and everything, great liner notes and so forth. But I was really excited to uh, finally get the last two albums, man, because that's all that I was lacking in uh, Nevermore in my Nevermore collection, man. But I was so glad that I discovered this band, you know, a few years ago, because uh, they're they're just great, man. They're just they're just one of the greatest heavy metal bands that I've ever listened to. And if you never checked them out, definitely go and check out their music. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Uh, you know, they they're one of the few bands out here. There's not a lot of bands that can say that they have. A consistent and solid discography throughout and i can and you can i can honestly say i can confidently say that uh nevermore does not have a bad record in their discography there might be some albums that are better than others you know within that context but you know f straight through in general just a solid no bad albums at all great songwriting and so forth man so yeah glad to finally own these as well all right so in the third nevermore i want to uh yeah, the third Nevermore CD I wanted to show you guys is uh, In Memory. Uh, this is a five-song EP that the band released in 96. Uh, this was like a bridge between uh, their first album, their self-titled album, Nevermore, and their second record, uh, The Politics of Est Ecstasy. And to a, to a lesser extent, you could even say uh, Dreaming Neon Black. But uh, yeah, this is just a five-song EP. This is the original pressing. I found this at Second and Charles. Uh, yeah, me and my aunt went to Second and Charles like maybe a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it was about a couple of weeks ago we went down there and I, I looked through their used CD section and I, 
I was fortunate enough to come across this and I purchased it because I remember uh, a close friend of mine, uh, the same one that was telling me about the corn about corner performing at the Maryland Death Fest. He told me that this was a, this was a really good EP that I should check out from the band. But and it really is good. Uh, Century Media Records, the label in which Nevermore was signed to, they actually put out a uh, or they reissued this EP back in 2006, and it came with five extra bonus tracks. And those five bonus tracks were demo versions of songs that would later appear on the Politics of Ecstasy. And Brutal Planet Records, uh, they actually have a gold disc edition of this EP as well, which also has those five bonus tracks. And I'm 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 honestly contemplating whether I'm gonna buy that EP, cause I'm I usually try not to do that. I usually not to try. I usually try not to be that type of collector where I gotta just go out and grab every single different kind of version or reissue of a record. I'm usually satisfied if I have like the original pressing or so forth. But it's just that 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 reissue has those five bonus tracks and those demos are really good. There are some really good demos. I listen to it on Spotify because that's the only version, <clears throat> excuse me, that's available on Spotify. And those demo versions were fantastic. They were almost better than the actual five songs on this EP. So I am contemplating uh, whether I'm going to buy that or not. I might will. I might will do it sometime. So uh, don't be surprised if you might see a gold disc edition of this EP popping up in a future CD update video sometime. But yeah, in any regards, man, I'm... I'm actually proud. I'm actually glad with having this original version as well, man, because it's a really good EP. You know, it contains, uh, I think, a few songs that might have been originally written for Sanctuary. That was the prior band that uh, World Dane and Jim Shepard were in before they formed uh, Never Nevermore. It also has a cool uh, Bajas cover medley on here as well. So uh, a very uh, a short release, but also a very important part of uh, Nevermore's uh, discography and catalog. But yes, that's it for this uh, particular CD update. Uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, watching this video. Uh, if you're not familiar with the bands that I uh, talked about in this video, hope you all will go out and listen to them because I'm telling you all these bands, both of these bands that I just talked about, they're great bands. You know, for all my metalheads out there that may not be familiar with them, definitely go and check them out. I think you, I don't think you will be disappointed, man. These. These are some really great bands that have put out some a uh, tremendous amount of great music. I think you will enjoy it. But if you did enjoy this video, do me a huge favor. If you just hit that thumbs up and give me a like, it does help with the channel. Also, be sure to share this video uh, on different platforms, on social media and so forth. Uh, also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I drop new content. Also, I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. Everybody that's been watching the videos and showing their support. I really do appreciate it. And as always, hope everybody has a blessed day, a blessed week, and love, peace, and music. Peace out, y'all.